Hi guys and girls, this is Kyle here. I'm going to demonstrate TFAR Task Force Radio, how to display, how to operate the different channels, how to set a digital channel, how to use stereo settings, and also change the volume as well. Firstly, you want to go into Arsenal, go into the third one from the bottom, and select 152. Now, you press Ctrl and P to display your Task Force Radio. On default, it's channel 1 and the default frequency. To go through the different channels you can uh, have, is press the pre button on the bottom right and simply click on it and you can see different channels and it goes with channel 8. For this demonstration, we best keep it channel 1 and channel 2. So to change frequency, all you want to do is click and drag over the frequency and change that to 101 and then to set the frequency is enter above pre. To go to your second channel we'll change that as well to 102 and press enter. Uh, to change over channel without going back on your task force radio you can actually use the number pad to your right on the keyboard uh, to access any of the channels that you have. Uh, so as I say, channel 1 and channel 2 is what we're going to be using for our demonstration. Uh, so now to actually use TFAR is to use the button caps lock and that will, as you can see in the bottom right, transmit over the radio frequency 101. If you want to change over to channel 2, use the numpad and press caps lock to transmit over channel 2. Now if you want to set up an additional channel which is using a uh, you can keep uh, your caps lock as the default channel, channel 1, and use a different button for channel 2. So how are we going to do that? Firstly, control P, get your task force radio up. Go to channel 2, which mine is already set. And in the bottom uh, left, uh, next to that, is called set and digital channel. Click on that, and you can see C2 is now changed to A2. Make sure when you use an additional channel, you change back to a different channel. That is actually a channel, not additional. Now, if I press down on the caps lock button, uh, I am transmitting through my channel 1, which is frequency 101. Now, if I wanted to use the additional channel setup without using the number pad, all I have to do is press the letter T for Tango, and you can see in the bottom right, additional channel 2 is being now used and transmitted over the radios. So, that is also good for using it on the fly without even uh, certain situations. And you don't have to use the number pad as well. Uh, to set its uh, stereo settings, now this is very handy, especially if you're a squad leader and have two additional channels. And this is what you mainly, mainly use two channels for. Is that uh, you go on the bottom left of the radio and you can see stereo settings. So for channel 1, we want to change that to left only. Change to additional channel and do exactly the same but change that to right only. You see it there on the bottom. And uh, make sure you change that back to a channel that you can use. Now, I can't demonstrate through this, but when I record, it doesn't actually happen. Uh, you can't notice it, but when someone transmits through 101, and since you've put it on to your left only, you can only hear channel 101, whoever's transmitting to you, the radio or to yourself, uh, it will transmit to the left hand side of your ear. And same goes for the additional channel. It'll transmit to your right. Uh, fin uh, finally, what we want to show you is to decrease and increase volume. It's the middle switch on the radio, and you left click it to decrease and right click it to increase. And uh, that is uh, just the basics of how to use a short range TFAR radio. Hope that's helped, and thank you for watching.